My role in the commissioning process is to think strategically about the entire factual output and what's going to make you hope an outstanding factual slate and the mix of programmes that we need in the slots that are available. Um, that's on the, the macro level. On the micro level, it's about selecting um, the very best ideas that help fulfil that strategy. So it's about choice, it's about, but that choice always happens as part of a dialogue with people, it's working with people, talking to people about, about their ideas, selecting those ideas, working with them to shape those ideas so that they do fit your strategy and purpose, uh, looking after them uh, when, you've, uh, when you've selected them, uh, seeing them through and then making sure that they are the best they possibly can be and working with marketing and uh, PR to, to maximise, to squeeze the most out of those ideas. But actually, fundamentally, those ideas should be inherently marketable, inherently noisy and stand out in a crowded marketplace. You're looking for an idea that has the ability to instantly connect with a very broad audience. ITV is a, is a very broad demographic. Um, and it's, it spans gender, it spans social groups, it spans north-south. So what is the truth of that idea that will make people instantly curious? I have to watch that. What is it about that idea that speaks to people of that and that range, across that range, and says, I have to watch that. I didn't know about that world, now I've, now I've seen that title, I have to watch it. Or I did know about that world, it so excites me, it, I'm so curious about it. What, it, it draws them in. I can be interested in something on two lines. In a funny sort of way, it's about being able to distill that idea um, very succinctly. Um, and often in that is everything you need. Then you work with people to add the layers, to expand it. Sometimes an idea comes in with too much um, expanded and you can't get to the core of what that idea is about, the unique proposition that lies at the heart of it. No, I think that um, if you're too quirky and left field, then uh, ITV may not be the channel for you. But we are looking for people who can bring a distinctive approach to often familiar material and think differently about a story. There are only seven narratives in the Bible, I believe, certainly in the storytelling lexicon. So you have to think, how am I going to tell my idea with a spirit that, uh, that imbues it with a freshness, but at the same time keeps that idea accessible and mainstream, which is what the ITV audience needs. I think it's important that the documentary maker thinks about the ITV audience, what the ITV audience is watching, what dramas they're watching, what might appeal to this audience. It's no good it's sort of offering me an idea about sort of yak farming uh, somewhere where it, it, there's no provenance on our channel, there's no mainstream audience. You do have to think in terms of our audience, but you also have to think uh, about what makes you passionate and hopefully the passions that you have as a documentarist um, will alight the passions of this broad audience, but you do have to think about it. It has to be audience focused, yeah. Watch, watch, watch. And don't be, watch all the output across all the channels and find out what's distinctive about each channel. And then a second piece of advice is don't be too proud. I, I sometimes, well I tutor at the National Film School and places like that, and they're great documentarists, but the great, you need to get experience, and that means sometimes working as an assistant producer, going out and making taster tapes, 
working in bigger companies. So be prepared to be flexible as well. Thank you.